You know, it's it's something because they mix and match a lot, and a lot of those guys. Like I've coached McDermott; he's a starter that comes off the bench. Richardson is a starter that comes off the bench. You know, so like you you have to be, you know, ready for. Yeah, and they do a good job of getting guys with different groups. So I know like they're they're hard to guard. They they move well without the ball. They play unselfishly. Their big guys are great with with screens and dribble handoffs. And so I liked our defense to start, but I didn't like it after after the first period. What do you think of your defense in the last four minutes? You know. It, like I thought, we lost. I, I liked the rebounding. Like that, that was a big thing. I, I knew because of you know Vassal being out and Langford being in. Langford is a big wing that goes after the ball, and uh, Sohan same thing, and so Keldon Johnson same thing. And then when you add in, you know, Partle, the the rebounding is going to be huge and because of what they can do off the dribble. If you come off the body, now you, their bigs are going to rim, their, their wings are going, they rebound. The, their rebounding was a big concern for me. And then you, when you, you go to the bench, the same thing. Uh, Collins going to the board. And, and so uh, keeping the ball in front and then getting back to bodies, you know, we knew that that would be a, a big test for us. And uh, the difference in the game was probably the rebounding. And so our offensive rebounding really helped us, uh, but we're going to have to do a lot better on the road. You get Jalen not only career high in 38, but it seemed like every big one down the stretch. Just you talk about what he, and giving you what you need when you need it. Yeah, you know, and, and that was, he, he had it going pretty good. And, you know, they had a lot of versatility with the way they can switch. And I thought he made really good reads, and he got into the paint, and he he did a lot of stuff that that we needed. We just needed to find a way to win the game, and so and sometimes you have to win games different ways. And we've been winning with our defense and our rebounding, and and tonight it was really the offensive rebounding. But you know the the bottom line is getting the win. We just got to scratch wins out, get a look at the film, get ready. We know. You know, how good Toronto is. We got to be ready for them. It's the same thing. It'd be a physical game. Tom, the Bears went 5-4 for the last 4 20 minutes. What did you think of what you guys did differently in the last few minutes? <laughs> well, usually the fourth quarter is different in terms of intensity, and then you could ratchet that up even more in the last five minutes. So I think more awareness, more urgency. Uh, some of it, they, you know, they missed some shots, you know, so, but we don't want to pick and choose. We we want there to be a consistency to the defense. So, and sometimes you can play defense really well, and they raise up and they make. And you know, so I want to take a look at the film. And you know, we we knew going in the ways in which we would be tested. We knew they would come with urgency. And um, you know, so we got to do better. Sometimes we do. Most of the time we do. Yeah. And there's different. Th sometimes depending on time, you might put more size, you know, on the inbounder. Sometimes you might just cover the three point line. Sometimes if you're out of timeouts, you might put two bigs on the ball so they can't they can't see over and triangle behind it and try to pop one loose. So there's, you know, e each situation is different. Yeah, just, you know, and, and again, same thing. So you, you know what they need, and then you got to make sure you're tied together and you're communicating and you have awareness and you have to be the more ready team when the ball's being inbounded. So what's going on? What are they trying to get to? Your awareness, anticipation, communication, what are we switching? What are we not switching? Uh, and then have the discipline not to foul. What do you look? What are you looking at to see? Is it form? Is it? What do you think? Yeah, a compilation, you know, of everything. As long as they shoot them good, they're not going to make every one. 
And so shoot it good. Our, our guys do put a lot of time into their shooting, whether it's the three, whether it's uh, finishing, free throws. So it's something they work on all the time. Just shoot it, shoot it well. If you shoot, as long as you shoot it well, you know, and sometimes you're going to miss, but more often than not, you'll make. So get up there and, and make. Yeah, so like, and that's it, it, it's something that you talk about. So you, there's situations, there's time and score when you're going to use the foul, when you're not going, going to use the foul. But then you also have to have an awareness as to how the ball is caught. So if the uh, if a guy's in, in, in the scoring area, in the three-point area, and he's facing the basket, you don't want to take the risk of him going into the shooting motion and then you, and you wrap him up. So ideally, it's more like as he's running to the ball, using it, using it where his back is to the basket, right, and take the foul there, or you know, deep in the backcourt as he's bringing it up on the dribble. Quinn handled that about as well as he did, not letting him get a shot. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Mitch just had a couple games where he's uh, struggled against Brittle. Anything that he's that the bad matchup? You know, I thought, you know, again, I want to take a look at. You know, and sometimes they, you know, I think when a guy gets two fouls like that, you, it's better to just leave him in. You know, because I thought getting him out, I think he came out at 817, and it takes him completely out of rhythm. And one one was, you know, one was definitely marginal. You know, so I want to take a look at it. But, you know, we have to adjust to how the game is being called. and. They called it pretty tight in terms of verticality. And, you know, we can't bail people out. We got to make sure that we, we check. There you go. My man.